Hey, 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 what's going on, guys and gals? Hey, look, we've been having some issues up there in the community dealing with feedback. So I figured it's about time to make this video here. I'm going to see if I can get uh, Dave Rat to chime in on it. Maybe tag him up there, and uh, I'm sure he can explain it a lot better than I can. But I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot. And what happens is this, okay? We're going to look at the FX that we have up here. And it's called a feedback loop, okay? You're getting feedback from your, from your FX, from the internal FX. And this can literally uh, creep up on you, you know, as far as the volume goes. And uh, we're going to try and figure out why. Uh, I actually, we know why. Uh, but we're going to show you how to avoid it. Now, if you see the signal coming and going here, it's because I've got the uh, lead vocals on the sends, okay, are actually coming into these effects. Okay, so we got to kind of wait for that to happen in order to show how this feedback does happen, and this is what it is. Okay, over here on the boss, as you can see now, I've got uh, some channels coming in here as well as the, the lead vocals. Uh, over here on the FX, as you, as you notice, you can add the uh, FX uh, stereo in. Remember, it goes in mono. It comes out stereo, okay? But you do not have the option for your FX 1, 2, 3, and 4, okay? So if we come over here to FX 1, you'll see to where it actually brings it back up to where we can send this, okay? So I'm going to click off the sends on fader here. Watch what happens now. Let's play a little bit of this music. And I've got it turned down kind of low because uh, this is uh, actually quite painful. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and raise the volume up on the audio coming in. And then watch what happens when I start adding these FX, uh, 1, 2, 3, and 4, which is now over here. Remember, uh, we could not add them in using sends on fader. But now we can actually send this, and we're going to send this and create a loop. Okay. Now, as you can clearly see, once that feedback started, okay, it just kept amplifying itself until it just started clipping and squilling and making that, uh, you know, that terrible noise. So, uh, any of these, if, if I'm on FX1 right here, if I move into these other bosses, okay, let me bring the music back up. As you can see, it had no effect on it whatsoever because we were not feeding and creating a loop from the FX1 left and right, the stereo, into the other bosses. But if I click on this right here, and that's what I'm going to do from this point forward, I'm going to click the FX2, and that's going to be bus 14. FX3 is going to be 15. FX4 is going to be bus 16. Watch what happens. Now, guys, if you notice, i got to wait for the vocals to come back in here again. But uh, as you can see, you can get to that pivot point, you know, to where you're right underneath that threshold. And then all of a sudden, once you breach that threshold or go over that threshold, 
then you will start to see that gain increase on its own. Okay? And if you'll notice that every one of these feedbacks have a different pitch associated with the effect. And you'll also notice, like I said, that one uh, FX bank will not feed back into the other. Okay? So let's check out FX4. So the point that I'm trying to make here is during your sound check or during your rehearsal, you can have everything set properly, even though you've got these up somewhere, okay? But what happens is this. If you're out there as the band's going on or playing, okay, and you breach that threshold, in other words, the singer moves a little bit closer to the mic, okay? The drum, if you've got some reverb on it and you hit it just a little bit harder, that's what's going to trigger this feedback. And as you've already seen, okay, then that's where it'll start to climb because I can raise this music up right now and it won't feed back at all until I breach one of those thresholds. Okay, so it's a real easy fix. Anytime you use these sends, okay, for your channels. Now, remember, we're up here on the channels. When you go through, you can send these when you're on the channel. You can send them to these bosses, okay? But when you come back over to your FX, right here, you, you, as you can see right there, I've got those uh, where I was showing you in the video. You need to pull these all the way down, okay? Because since you have these running into your in-ear monitors as well, that squeal is going to come through there just as loud, all right? I hope this helps. And Dave, like I said, brother, I know I watch your videos all the time. Uh, I know you can do a lot better job. Uh, you're always looking for suggestions or ideas. I know you do this with a lot of analog gear and uh you know maybe maybe you can come up there and help out the uh the digital world there uh per se all right brother all right man take care god bless and we are out of here